the break. You're watching Mirror now, and let's begin with breaking news now. Coming in, ISRO releases two new videos of uh, Mission Chandrayaan. The first video shows view from the lander images uh, camera just after the separation of the lander module from the propulsion module. The other video is Moon as captured by the lander position detection camera. My colleague Dharani is joining us uh, to give us more details. Uh, Dharani captures uh, from August 15, 2023. Uh, uh, ISRO has released now two new videos of the mission Chandrayaan. Give us details. Well, ISRO has been releasing pictures of uh, you know moon and earth from Chandrayaan 3 and now we have two sets of videos and definitely uh, these are breath you know taking to watch and uh, you know yesterday only the separation of uh, uh, the Vikram lander and the propulsion module happened and uh, just one day after the separation now ISRO is uh, you know releasing uh, two sets of videos and of course these videos are you know very mesmerizing to watch and we can only you know wait for the next four days to pass quickly so that uh, you know the Vikram lander makes a soft landing near the south pole of the moon and you know uh, definitely uh, uh, you know uh, uh, one one of these videos uh, was taken before uh, the separation of Vikram lander and propulsion module and the other video was taken after the separation so we have two sets of videos one before the separation and one after the separation and now uh, ISRO has posted uh, both of uh, these uh, you know videos in their official uh, you know uh, social media handles for the uh, you know uh, nation to watch and uh, you know uh, we have four more days for the uh, most crucial soft landing to happen on August at 23 right now uh, you know the Vikram lander is traveling towards uh, the surface of the moon and ISRO is reducing the speed of uh, the Vikram lander you know a uh, step by step because uh, you know they have a fixed uh, speed rate at which the Vikram lander is supposed to make the soft landing and to achieve that fixed uh, speed rate uh, now ISRO is reducing the uh, Vikram lander's you know speed you know step by step so uh, on August 23 when the soft landing happens at uh, the speed you know should be uh, at, at, uh, at a fixed rate uh, that was uh, you know uh, uh, pre uh, uh, that was uh, um, you know uh, pre mentioned by uh, ISRO so that is that process is currently underway and we have four more days for history to be made and on August 23 around you know 5 to 5 30 p.m. in the evening somewhere in the evening somewhere around in the evening uh, the soft landing is expected to take place near the south pole of the moon uh, which will make India the first ever country to have ever uh, you know landed a spacecraft near the south pole of the moon and uh, you know as soon as the soft landing of Vikram lander happens uh, the rover again will be released and uh, the rover will perform a uh, several quantitative and qualitative experiments uh, you know on the south pole uh, of the moon uh, in the area surrounding the south pole of the moon and the inputs that we are able to get you know from uh, Chandrayaan 3 they will directly be injected into the making of Gaganyaan mission uh, Gaganyaan is our you know manned mission for moon that is currently you know taking place the scientists are working on the mission it's, it's being built by the scientists at ISRO and the inputs that we are able to take from Chandrayaan 3 will directly be injected into uh, the formulation and uh, uh, the execution of uh, Gaganyaan is what we are given to understand Right, Dharani, thank you for giving us all the details as far as the mission Chandrayaan is concerned. There are two new uh, visuals that are coming in. Uh, ISRO has released at this point in time. Mesmerizing visuals coming in uh, before uh, the mega history that is made by Chandrayaan 3 on 23rd of August. All right, uh, let me go across to my colleague Dharani once again. Dharani, uh, give us details as far as the preparations is concerned from uh, the team ISRO and what are uh, the reactions also that you are gathering as far as the excitement within the people. Uh, definitely, you know, lessons have been learned from Chandrayaan uh, 2. Uh, you know, uh, I could see a lot of people addressing Chandrayaan 2 as a failure, but the mission is a partial success because we only failed, you know, with the soft landing of uh, the lander. Apart from the soft landing, we achieved every other target. You know, Chandrayaan 2's orbiter is still, you know, orbiting the moon and it is continuing to send us inputs, you know, till date. Uh, so the mission is only a partial success. It's not a complete failure. And of course, the lessons that we were able to learn from Chandrayaan 2, we 
have uh, as we are you know trying to successfully implement all of that in chandrayaan uh, 3 in fact this time the scientists have designed chandrayaan 3 in such a way you know in a in a fail proof way that even if certain elements fail uh, the vikram lander will still be able to establish uh, the soft landing on august you know 23 even if a couple of engines fail the vikram lander will still be able to establish the soft landing is what a, a scientists that is through you are giving us to understand and of course the mood in the ground is very vibrant and jubilant uh, because uh, you know we have been waiting for you know uh, this day for almost 4 years uh, you know uh, in fact our chandrayaan one mission uh, you know that uh, that inventor you know that uh, identified the presence of water molecules you know in the moon and that was history for the world uh, we made history by identifying water molecules uh, and our chandrayaan one mission identified the presence of water molecules in in moon and after the chandrayaan two was launched in 2019 but unfortunately as i told except for the uh, landing part we did everything else perfectly we were only not able to establish the soft landing uh, the lander unfortunately crash landed uh, you know and uh, the mission only became a partial success but this time uh, we are you know putting in all the lessons and you know uh, all the experiences past experiences into the chandrayaan 3 mission and uh, this time we have come up with a fail proof uh, mission so that you know, as i told even if certain elements fail uh, the vikram lander will still be able to establish a soft landing on august you know 23 and uh, uh, this will make india the first ever country to have landed a spacecraft near the south pole of the moon and you know as i told as soon as uh, uh, the, the vikram lander uh, you know makes the uh, soft landing it establishes the soft landing uh, the pragyan rover will be released so the rover will come out and it will start roving on to the surface of the moon and this is when all the uh, you know uh, quantitative and qualitative experiments will be performed uh, you know on the su- surface of the moon uh, you know surrounding the south pole of the moon and uh, the inputs that we are able to get from it is what you know we are going to use in our you know a future uh, moon mission so definitely uh, in fact isro a uh, chairperson somnath also during one of his you know earlier interviews with us uh, he expressed confidence that they have you know done everything from their side you know perfectly to establish a successful mission you know this time a completely successful mission uh, this time in fact uh, uh, during the launch also we saw how 10000 people from across the country uh, they had come personally to uh, the satish dhawan space center to witness uh, you know uh, chandrayaan 3 being launched to witness history in you know in making so we only have four days left for this final uh, soft planning to happen we have been waiting for almost 35 days now uh, since the launch and we only have four days left for this uh, uh, ultimate soft planning to happen so all lies roll on uh, august 23 this is uh, uh, this day to when uh, india will make history uh, you know as the first ever country to have landed a spacecraft near the south pole of the moon right dharani thank you for uh, bringing us all the details there uh, well images captured uh, by uh, the uh, you know vikram at this point in time the two images uh, from the 15th of august are on your screens one of the 15th august the 17th august of course uh, all eyes are going to be on uh, the 23rd of august the mega massive um, day that makes history and at this point in time we will of course be tracking all the details as far as Chandrayaan-3 mission is concerned.